What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm back with another Dino deck profile. However, Dino just got boosted with the brand new release of Crystal Revenge and that's because the Doodle Dinos came out. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a Doodle Dino deck profile. I'm really excited, but if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content just like this one where we upload five days a week here on the channel. We do deck profiles, combo videos, dual replays, all that good stuff. You'll see it right here on the channel. So with that being said, I'm really excited because the Scrap Dino with the inclusion of the Doodle Dinos are just so powerful. It gives access to extenders, new combos, and just so many new different lines that we didn't have before. So with that being said, let's get right into the deck profile. All right, so just before we get into the deck profile here, you guys are going to see that this is a lot like your typical Scrap Dino deck profile. You're still doing all the really cool combos with Scrap Dino. However, with the inclusion of the Doodle Beast Dinos, I just like to call them Doodle Dinos, this deck gets a lot more powerful. Just some new things a deck didn't have access to before, but now has access to. So let's get things started. Of course, you're playing three Soul Eating Ovi Raptor. That's pretty self-explanatory. It's your best normal summon of the deck. Then we're playing two Ultimate Conduct Tyranno. These ratios hasn't changed changed one miscellaneous source and i swear this card comes back to three this deck can be so so good then we're playing three baby sarasaurus as well as one petite pteranodon the reason i like to play three and one is because in this build when you're playing the scraps you need the extra names always to pop now keep in mind i've said this in past videos but baby plus misc is combo baby plus ovi is combo misc plus ovi is combo so there's so many two card combos in this deck where you really want to max out on baby which is like the best one but you also want to play the one petite because giving you four names is going to give you the best odds of seeing them as well as with cards like fossil dig and whatnot you can get to these cards right and there's also another card in here that you guys are probably looking at but it makes a lot of sense without you playing more babies and you kind of don't mind opening more babies and i'll get into that when i do but that's why we're playing the four babies in this build and then we're playing two archosaur archosaur of course is very necessary the reason we're playing two rather than one is because if you draw this card it is kind of tough you really want to be able to get it out of your deck so for that reason you're playing the second one plus it's not a bad normal summon for you of course ov raptor is still going to be always your best normal summon but if you open Archosaur plus baby remember those two card combos i was telling you about arco plus baby is still a two card combo so that's the crazy thing about this deck right so that's why i like playing the two arco we're playing the one pancratops even though yes we want to go first with this deck pancratops is still really good because there are lines where you pop your petite pteranodon and then you're going to be summoning your pancratops so you can end your combo on a pancratops which is really really nice and then we're playing the one giant rex giant rex is a really powerful extender for you that's why you want to be playing it especially in this build you can really abuse the banish effect and on top of that it's also an earth monster and i'm going to get into why that's important later but then we're also playing the two scrap raptor as well as the one scrap chimera again the reason we're playing the scrap engine even though it's a minimal scrap engine is because it just pushes so much potential in this deck it hires the ceiling so crazy so that's why we're playing the scrap engine but on top of that the scrap monsters are earth why does that matter why have i been bringing up the earth attribute and that's because we are playing the one true king lithosagum the disaster why are we playing litho so litho is such a powerful card especially in today's format and the reason for that is because if you summon it using two earth monsters you can look at your opponent's extra deck and banish up to three monsters from it with different names we're banishing those monsters how powerful is that against the tier limit format if you banish a kit Kalos, a rule Kalos, a kaleido heart boom that's all the main fusion monster that they need to get access to to be able to play the game so you can banish those you can even banish stuff like mud dragon which is really important for them if you're banishing the sprite sprint or the sprite elf depending on where they're going with their combo this card is insane just being able to get rid of your opponent's main combo pieces and that's why we're playing the one litho now why does litho synergize so well with this deck well like i said all the babies are already earth which is really nice because if you open two babies plus the litho sajum you're insane but even if you don't open the babies you have the giant rex which you can open you have the pancratops technically if you need to pop this the scrap raptor but on top of that you also have the brand new doodle beast dinos we're playing one doodle beast tyranno as well as one doodle beast stego now why are we playing one on one for a while i was trying to play stego at two or three because if you guys don't know this card the first line says if you control no monsters or if all your monsters are dinosaur monsters you can just special summon this card so this is a card that dino didn't have access to before where it's now an extender for you but the reason 
reason you're only playing one on one is because you're searching them when you have redundancy in your hand. So what do I mean by that? Let's say you open OV plus baby, right? And let's say you already have access to a misc or you have a fossil dig, just a lot of redundancy. You know, you have all the combo pieces already, but then you have all the cards to get you into your combo pieces as well. It's like, okay, well, what am I going to do with like three OV in hand? Or like, what am I going to do with, you know, a misc plus OV plus two babies in hand? It's kind of like too much cards. So for that reason, the doodle beasts come up really well because keep in mind, fossil dig can search any level six or lower dino. So you can actually search your stego with the fossil dig. And if you already have access to your combo with OV, you can search something like your Tyranno. Tyranno is a really cool card is because it has a quick effect where you can tribute some of this card from your hand using a dinosaur monster you control. And that does help you dodge stuff like imperm droplets and stuff like that. Maybe even Valor. But the thing is, those cards are not super prevalent in today's format. If we're talking about a future format where those cards really are prevalent, I could definitely see a situation where you bump up Tyranno to two or three because now it makes it so that your OV Raptor, let's say, can dodge a Valor, can dodge an Imperm, right? So that's why Tyranno for now is just a one-off. This card is really, really powerful. Helps you dodge hand traps. It's a beater for you, which is really, really nice. Stego is an extender for you. It's just one of those cards where if you already have access to your combo, you already get the Stego. But on top of that, they're both earth monsters which is really good for your lithosagem so that's why we're playing the two dinos here the two brand new dinos and that's it for the monster count or the dino monster count i should say this is all you're going to need because the deck is super super consistent already so for that reason like you're not going to want to max out on cards that are kind of going to be just redundant cards that's kind of like the thing that i keep going back to is because this deck is so consistent that you don't want to draw too many of the same things right so with that being said let's get into the spell cards we're playing two double evolution pill three fossil dig this is pretty standard three lost world lost world is really really powerful in today's format funny enough because Pierre Lorino targets to pop a lot of the cards in today's format target so that's really good with Lost World because if you activate this you get this set up then your dino monsters are always going to be safe so I like the three Lost World and the one terraforming of course to get to it we're playing the one called by the grave this is a card that could be swapped out and I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute hand traps aren't super prevalent in today's format yes the bestial monsters are but again you can't call by the grave the bestial monsters and so on top of that like you're not really worried about again Valor, Ash and whatnot in today's format so you could cut this card I'm going to talk about that in just just a minute but i still think this card is really good because going first if you're setting up your combo with a called by the grave it's really powerful because called by is still really good into the tier limit matchup it just doesn't have as much turn one use as it used to but i still think this card is really powerful then we're playing three prosperity because you know if you're always missing one combo piece or you're missing an extender something like that you can go into prosperity to get to there so that's really powerful and then we are playing the bestial monsters ourselves and the reason is because we need to be able to combat the tier limit matchup we need to be able to combat the meta and so that's why we're playing the bestials and I'm going to talk about the Bistials and something else in a second as well. But for the Bistial monsters, we're playing the three Magnema, the three Druus Worm, as well as the one Sarnir. So the reason we're playing the one Sarnir is mainly just to have another name, another card that you can search. So let's say you activate your Magnema and you have a Druid Worm already in hand. Magnema on your end phase can search the Sarnir. And this way you have like multiple DD Crow cards in your hand at all points. And this way you have more times to hit your opponent with these Bistial monsters, right? On top of that, they are all 2,500 attack, which is really powerful because in a deck like Dino that already pushes out a lot of damage it does put a lot of pressure on your opponent where you're like hey i have a ton of big monsters if you're not beating me this turn i'm gonna beat you next turn right so that's why the bestial monsters are really good another card that's really good in dino by the way that's it for the 40 card main deck right here that you guys can see okay now i'm going to talk about some things that you guys can do with the deck one really good card is kashtara fenrir fenrir is really powerful because of its earth synergy with your lithosagem however the thing with fenrir is it doesn't synergize that well with the bestied cards so if you are forced to go second and you open a fenrir plus like the Bisted Monsters, you know, you gotta think to yourself like, hey, I need to activate my Bisted Monsters to stop my opponent from playing, you know, especially in a tier zero format against tier Shizu, then you're gonna be able to activate these cards, which is really powerful, but then you have cards like Fenrir in your hand that you can't really summon after you use the Bisted effects. So that's why I'm not playing the Fenrir. The Earth thing is kind of cool with the Litho, but again, Litho is just a one-off. If Litho was at two or three, maybe I could see that, but just it being at one is the reason we're not playing the Fenrir. On top of that, remember how I said Called by the Grave can kind of be switched out? So there's a reason I actually put it beside the Terraforming, and the reason for that is because you guys can play Dragonic Diagram to search the Lithosagem. If you already have access to your Lost World, you can terraforming into your Diagram. Diagram can pop a baby, then you're going to get the baby effect, then you're going to have Lithosagem access, and so it's really powerful with the Diagram. However, there's one reason specifically I'm not playing Diagram, and that's because it's just a one of, and Litho is a one of. So if you already open your Lithosagem, then what ends up happening is you can't actually use your Diagram at all. So there are hands where I tested with Diagram, and you know, I opened Diagram diagram and litho sometimes which obviously they're both one of so it's not very likely to happen i'm just giving you guys situations where it has happened sometimes i've opened litho already in my opening hand so my diagram kind of
that becomes dead in my deck. So there's just a lot of situations where it's like, just because Litho is at one, that's why I'm not playing the diagram. However, you guys can definitely cut the call by the grave, play the diagram instead. Another card that I was contemplating was Mystic Mind as well, just as another field spell option. If you guys wanted to try this, try this out, but let's get right into the extra deck. We're playing the one Logia as well as the one Dolka. These two are very powerful cards. Sometimes you end your combos on these two, which is very powerful, but a lot of the time in today's format, you're going to be ending your combo on a Dweller. Dweller is just so prominent and so very powerful in today's format that if you can end on it, you want to end on it. So we're playing the one Dweller. The one Baguska, Baguska is one of those cards where it's kind of like, hey, you know how we're ending on Dweller for the tier issues and stuff? You can end on Baguska for the Flunderies matchup. The Flunderies matchup is a very tough matchup, so ending on Baguska there is very, very powerful. Then we're playing the one Dugaris just to help you OTK. We're playing the one Link Kribo and the one Secure Guard now. With Lissel Sajam, with your Bisted Monsters, with your Scrap Engine, you probably shouldn't be going into Secure Guard now. However, there are really random situations where you open, let's say, an Arco plus like a Magna Mutt or just a bunch of hand traps and you're not opening your full combo and then in that sense sometimes you need to go to secure gardener so that you can double evolution pill so that's why i still like playing the one i'll give you guys a replacement for this card in a little bit but this card is the card that i still think should be played then we're playing the one pentastag again to help you otk we're playing the scrap wyvern of course for the combo the one ip mascarena important for the combo as well we're playing the one nightmare phoenix as well as the one unicorn phoenix could be a card like tornado dragon i just think phoenix is a little bit better because stego is like a level five so if you use stego as like an extender to link line it's better sometimes to have the link two rather than the rank four because this can't go into the rank four right so that's why we're playing the one phoenix we're playing the unicorn as well of course we're playing the one axis code talker you're really never going to go into this this deck is just so powerful it can otk on its own but there are situations where you do so that's why you're playing the one we're playing the one apple of course you end on your combo with apple all the time this card is so powerful and then we're playing the one savage dragon now remember secure guard now how i said there might be a different card that you guys can play well that card is wallow founder of the drudge dragons this card is really really powerful as well it's essentially a quick effect dd crow if you find yourself with multiple bisted monsters on the field you can actually just make a wallow and this way it gives you an extra dd crow like effect on your board which is really nice on top of that sometimes your bisted monsters if they're taking up too many zones essentially what ends up happening is you can just make the wallow in your extra monster zone or just to the side so now you're taking up one zone rather than two zones to help you combo some more so that's why you could play wallow instead it's another really powerful card i just found myself not really ever going into it because if i'm resolving like two bisted monsters plus any sort of dino combo even just getting into a conductor time right now i'm going for otk anyways so that's why i just decided not to play the wallow i decided to play this in those rare occasions where you don't open your combo however like this is a very viable card so that's it for the deck it's a 40 card main deck i think the inclusion of the doodle beasts or the doodle dinos are just so so strong i'm really excited that these are into the format and again the really cool thing about these cards is in the future you know if hand traps do become prevalent again then you can start playing different ratios but for this variant i think these are the best ratios and I really think you guys should try this deck out. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I wanted to show you guys that stuff like True King Lithosagem is really good in this deck now because you're playing a ton of Earth Monsters. You're still playing Scrap Dino, so you're still playing the combo variant, which is really, really powerful. But then on top of that, you have access to new extenders with the Doodle Dinos and some new combos, some new plays, some new things you guys can do, especially cards like Tyranno, which can now also help you push for a lot of damage. And it helps you dodge hand traps. Just a lot of different applications, which is really, really nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. Just like this one, we upload five days a week here on Spanko. Deck profiles, dual replays, combo videos, all that good stuff. You'll find it right here on the channel. So make sure you guys are subscribed to stay tuned into all of that. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. We're on the road to 8,000 subscribers. Let's make it happen. So with that, guys, Spanko, signing out. Peace.